Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my April perfume tray. And what I have on my tray right now are the fragrances I wore from the month of March. And so I'm gonna go through those and tell you a little bit about how I enjoyed wearing them. And then I will talk about the 10 fragrances that I'm adding to my tray for the month of April. So the first fragrance I have here is Poison um, from Dior. This is kind of an oldie but goodie, something that's been in and out of my perfume collection for many, many years and is a very sort of nostalgic fragrance for me. Um, it takes me back to kind of my late teen, early 20s years when I used to wear this fragrance going out quite a bit in the evenings and I still enjoy it and um, bring it out from time to time. Next up from Tom Ford, I have Metallique. This is a fragrance that is kind of a aldehydic vanilla fragrance. It's um, kind of cold, but yet um, has that sweetness of the vanilla. And I really enjoy wearing this in the months where um, I don't want anything too heavy, but I really want that kind of sweet vanilla fragrance. And um, it's absolutely beautiful. Next up from Chanel, I have 1957. This is a really beautiful kind of powdery, soft um, iris and um, woody fragrance that I really enjoy wearing both in the springtime and in the fall. Next up from Narciso Rodriguez, I have Poudre or Narciso Poudre. This is a really kind of soft, sweet take on um, on the kind of cube Narciso fragrances and I really enjoy this one. It's got a little sweetness. It's one that is very soft and I like to wear this primarily at bedtime. Next up from Byredo, I have Mojave Ghost. This is a fragrance that I wear throughout the year. I find it to be somewhat woody, somewhat floral, um, but all very sort of clean, I would say. It reminds me of almost like a shampoo-y fragrance and I really enjoy it um, in the springtime. Next up, I have Oriana from Parfums de Marly. This is a fragrance that it took me quite a while to figure out when to wear, but I really, really enjoy it. It's a very sweet kind of marshmallowy um, orange blossom scent that I really enjoyed wearing this month. I got quite a bit of use out of it, and you can't really see, but I want to say I've made a little bit of a dent finally on this fragrance um, over the month of March. Next up from Jo Malone, I have Mimosa and Cardamom. This is one of the fragrances in my collection that I'm almost considering to be a signature scent at this point. I wear it throughout the year. I can wear it um, any time of day for any occasion, and I find it to just be soft, comforting, um, and a little bit clean, and I just really enjoy it. Next up from Kayali, I have Musk 12. This is a really beautiful, sweet, light, skin-like musk that I think is just um, perfect for bedtime as well as for pretty much any time of the day when I want something soft, comforting, and very like non-perfumey. This is one of the ones that I reach for. And last but certainly not least from Miss Sincere, I have Trey Cher. This is a beautiful orange blossom vanilla fragrance that is soft, um, really inviting, warm, and something that I get quite a bit of wear out of, I would say all year round. So now I'm gonna go through the fragrances I am adding to my tray for the month of April, beginning with another Mise Cire fragrance. Um, this one is Bois Iridescent. This is a beautiful, sparkly, kind of iris fragrance um, with quite a bit of citruses in this. It's very, like I said, sparkly, um, somewhat ethereal, and something I really enjoy wearing in the springtime. Next up from Bond number nine, I have Greenwich Village. This is a beautiful kind of sweet fragrance that reminds me quite a bit of Baccarat Rouge 540, but um, a little bit even sweeter and somewhat brighter, I would say. This is a fragrance that I love to wear um, primarily in the spring and in the fall, but it is just one that I, I forget about sometimes um, and definitely needed to use more. So that is why I am adding it to my tray for the month of April. Next up um, from Van Cleef and Arpels, I have Gardenia Patel, which is a really beautiful, um, realistic gardenia fragrance that I am very excited to wear. I am excited about all the florals for the month of April. So you will see a lot of these fragrances um, have a lot of springtime florals because that is what I am wanting to reach for the most right now. 
Another beautiful gardenia fragrance from Chanel is Chanel Gardenia. This is the fragrance that I was considering wearing on my wedding day many, many years ago, and I ended up going with Chanel number no. five, but I did end up um, bringing this with me on my honeymoon, and it was absolutely a perfect fragrance for a more sort of tropical honeymoon, and I really still love it, enjoy it, and it's another one of those nostalgic fragrances that I will probably always have in my collection. Next up from Narciso Rodriguez, I have their newest fragrance from the For Her line. This is Musk Noir. This is a really beautiful, soft and sweeter version of um, the Narciso Rodriguez For Her, and I just absolutely love and adore it. Another relatively new fragrance that I picked up last month is from Jones Road. This is called Shower, and I think I actually had a subscriber ask me about this fragrance, and they referred to it as Shower, and I didn't realize that was actually the name of the fragrance. So in any case, um, that is the name of this fragrance. It is a beautiful one. It just smells clean and fresh like you just get out of the shower, and it is kind of perfect for any kind of hot, humid days that we are already getting into here in the month of April. Next up from Chloe, I have Vanilla Planifolia. This is a really beautiful, fresh, green vanilla that is um, absolutely stunning for the warmer days when I want to get my vanilla fix. Um, always have to have a fragrance like this um, on my tray. Next up, I have a fragrance that comes out every year at springtime. This is Pure Poison from Dior. This is a really beautiful kind of, I would say, soapy jasmine fragrance. I definitely get a lot of jasmine in this. I also get a very sort of clean um, scent and it is Something I wear pretty much um, any time I want to feel clean and fresh, but at the same time, very kind of feminine and elegant. So really enjoy this fragrance. And the last two fragrances I'm adding to my tray are both from Erin. I've got Cedar Violet and Mediterranean Honeysuckle Tiare. I've talked quite a bit about this one on my channel, so I won't get too into it other than to say I love the tropical florals in this fragrance, and it is definitely one that is perfect for the springtime in the climate where I live. And Cedar Violet is a really beautiful, woody, powdery floral that um, kind of snuck up on me. Um, it came out of nowhere. It was a fragrance that I had never heard of, but I tried it on and I couldn't stop uh, smelling myself. I very quickly became addicted and it's one that I'm very happy to um, be trying out this month and one that I know is going to be perfect in the fall season as well. So these are all the fragrances that I will be focused on wearing in the month of April. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about what I've talked about, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you soon in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.